to talk about you me. Do everything for like clout, even down to little infinity. So I'm gonna bring a whole person into my house with my babies. I'm gonna do that for clout. In the morning when the sun starts to rise, so mama don't stress your mind. Tune in to my channel, it's your girl Nisha here back on another video. So today's video is my review of Love and Hip Hop New York season nine, episode eleven. Y'all, it really wasn't much to talk about in this episode. I'm just gonna be all the way one hundred with you. This review is probably gonna be less than ten minutes, surely, because it wasn't much to talk about. Okay, we already know that Kim Bella and Jewels got married. So the part in the episode of them like planning this, it doesn't really matter because we are know that they're married, okay? The Golden Child, they do a little bit behind the scenes of the Golden Child music video, which is Ring Mom Papoose. Really, you know, not much to talk about there. Um, Alexa Sky and Lucci, you know, we already know that he, he, uh, Paid for the paternity test for Alexis Guy's baby to see if it's his, and we know it's not his. And that Fetty Wap is now claiming the baby. Okay, y'all, it really wasn't much to talk about. And honestly, this is making me think twice about doing the rest of these reviews because I don't, you know, it's just I already don't like watching TV, so I watch these reviews specifically for the viewers that love to watch my reviews, okay? But it, it's getting harder and harder to watch these, y'all. I'm just gonna be honest. If you get one day to where you just don't get a review anymore, it's because I done got sick and tired of being sick and tired, okay? So let's see, what can I talk about? Um, Okay, I already told y'all about Alexis Sky and the Solo Lucci thing, right? So he's just going to go ahead and pay for this paternity test because he says that he think he could be the father, but then she's like, no, you can't be the father because I didn't sleep with you in July, I think. And then he's like, well, I slept with you a whole lot of times. She's like, but did I sleep with you in July? And he's like, well, you know, I don't know. And my penis have been in you a whole lot of time. So it's basically that going on. Jewels and Yandy, they're in the studio and he's trying to gauge her attitude like you're not really acting like sis anymore what's really the deal and her whole issue is that she's sick of going through this thing that she's going through with Yen with uh Kimbella she constantly has to like extend the olive branch she has to be the bigger person she has to allow this lady to keep shitting on her in her life and just be there for her because of what she's getting ready to go through and we know that Yandy is trying to you know, because she's already going through that when with men DCs, what Kimbella's getting ready to go through. So she's trying to be there for her as a friend. But Kimbella feels like it's more for the public. You really don't care about me. You're only doing this for what you can get from it, which is clout. Everybody like to throw around a damn clout word. And I'm so sick of the damn word because everybody in their mama uses it. Literally. Everybody in their mother is using it on YouTube. And it doesn't make any sense. But Yandy, honestly, y'all, I'm with Yandy. I'm not going to continuously allow somebody to just do whatever the hell they want to me and I have to take it because I need to be the bigger person. I'm like, no, no, Joelle. She don't need to be the bigger person. You need to speak with your wife and tell your wife she needs to stop acting like an immature adult. That's what's going on here. It has nothing to do with what Yandy is doing. From what I can see, I know uh, Kimbella wants to paint Yandy out to be this horrible person, but from what I can see on this episode, it has only been your wife now, we can say wife, and she needs to get over it and get over herself. Like seriously, it doesn't make any damn sense, okay? So then we move on from there to Juju inviting Yandy, Sin, um, Maggie, and who else? Kimbella, she invites them over to Costa Rica because she's having a hosting event and she wanted to be a ladies thing. Well, then the ladies ended up inviting their dudes with the exception of uh, Kimbella and Jewels. Jewels couldn't come due to his uh, terms of his, I guess, his release. And um, Juju ain't got nobody. So it's just, it's just uh, Safari did come, but Safari came to just... Okay, so... Yandy invited Safari because she says Safari needs a break. He's been going through a lot, so he needs a break. He needs a getaway. Juju 
I mean, not Juju, but um, Joe Button comes because Sin, him and Sin have been on better terms lately. They've been spending more time together, having more sex together. And so she feels like it'll be a really good time for them to get away from the baby, okay? And Mano comes because him and Maggie are on like bad terms right now. Consider because Maggie wants to be on that song, My Chicks Better Than Yours, or whatever the hell name the damn song is. And so he didn't allow her to be on there. He preferred Alexis. So now Mano is going on the trip, I guess, to kind of uh, reconcile the things that's going on in their relationship. I don't know, y'all. It just turned into a whole couple's thing, and it wasn't supposed to be. But Yandy did not know that Kimbella was going to be there. So Yandy's already pissed off. Her mood, her energy is all jacked up. And I, you know, we know how these reality shows go. You always end up in a situation, in a trip situation, where you didn't want to really be there because you already have beef going on with said person. But now you've been invited to this place and you did not know this person was going to be there. But you're already here. So you may as well make it work at least for the first two days until you catch your early flight on. Okay? So this is where we are. She finds out that Yandy or that uh, Kimbella is there and Yandy is pissed off. She doesn't like it. She cannot believe that Juju failed to tell her that. My thing is, of course she wouldn't tell you that because you would have said no, okay? All right, so Maggie tells her, look, you know, sis, I know it's a little, your energy's off a little bit, but, you know, I'm sorry for that, but I can understand because they kind of really were trying to assassinate your character. And then Yandy's like, what's going on? And she said, yeah, when we were at the vineyard with Jonathan, you know, Kimbella and Mariah Lynn were really going after you and your parenting, you know, everything from your kids and how you running after cloud to now infinity and she's like what like they're coming after my character and my parenting skills like how dare they do that to me like she has really crossed the line and all of that y'all she she does all of that and honestly I felt like Maggie at that particular time should not have brought that up because for one we are on vacation two she's already saying she doesn't want to be here with the girl that she's here with and three, because we just want to keep the drama level down, okay? So for Maggie to go out and tell her about everything that had transpired, I just feel like it wasn't the time or the place to do that. And of course, this makes Yandy want to leave. And she doesn't, you know, she doesn't want to be there and a part of this anymore. And then just so happened, Juju walks up. And so then she tells Juju, you know, this girl's coming for me, all this blase, blase, blase. What I can tell y'all from this particular scene is that, you know, uh, I sighed throughout this whole thing at this particular time from what I have seen, I side with Yandy on this, you know, because Kimbella has done nothing but prove to me that she cannot be a mature adult. And it's sad that everybody's expecting Yandy to just like, okay, just let the shit happen, don't worry about it, just be the big person, just be the big person. Everybody keep just throwing her off. But it's like, yo, y'all not y'all not paying attention to what's going on here. You know, so that's pretty much all that I have for y'all today. I told y'all it was gonna be a quick review. I'm just, y'all, it just wasn't much to talk about. So go ahead and get into the comments. Let me know what you thought about this episode review. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe with the bell so you're notified every time that I release. Until next time, guys. Yeah, low-key and maybe high key. I've been peeped that you like.